I'm the CEO of Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz offers a versatile range of consumer passenger, light commercial, and heavy commercial equipment. These vehicles are manufactured in multiple countries worldwide. The smart mark of city cars are also produced by Daimler Benz. Mercedes Benz currently offers three types of vans, Citian, Vito, and Sprinter. They are all are produced by Daimler AG. The Mercedes Benz Trucks division is a part of the Daimler Truck Company and includes other sub companies that were part of the Daimler Chai sub major. I am happy that our company is implementing SAP R3 and I believe by integrating financial department to this system we could leverage must have from it. Thank you. As a logistics and supply chain management head of Mercedes Benz, we are facing an issue of uh, customer. We are delaying uh, of delivery of our customers' products to the our customers. So this is a major issue we are facing right now. We have a plants in Mexico, US, Brazil, and Germany. We are mainly uh, producing our products in MVPs and MVPs. So we have to uh, by implementing of this software SAP R3, we can easily find out where we are delaying and where we are uh, where we are look more. Move forward for our future needs. That's it. Yeah. Now I welcome our IT head to explain the IT plan. IT plan. As we all know that we are dealing with Mercedes Benz and Mercedes Benz bus. The problem we are facing is already stated to the business head, and we have a few vendors like Oracle, SAP, given their uh, proposal to our company. Our IT team evaluated. Uh, all these proposals, we need a modern solution to improve our process and to meet the customer objectives as well as guarantee successful operations in the future. After having a detailed discussion with our team and also with the uh, production head, we found that uh, SAP R by 3 is the best solution for us. Data integration, process orientation and standard software R by 3 provide all these facilities. Along with this, it allows our company to integrate other resources and function of the company with the R by 3 enterprises. Uh, R by 3 was the best long term investment. R by 3 is a state of the art high tech solution. It would be better supported in the future and that we would be see further innovations and improvements to the softwares. Uh, Ravi Prasad here to represent the SAP company. Uh, we are happy to invite you, sir, here. Uh, let's we move on to Ravi Prasad, sir. We are the, one of the leading ERP vendors. 
Uh, I think you have your company good decision for many futures. And it, it's handled communication between distribute dispatch in queue. Dispatch queue varies what process types to throw in, into the process. And dispatch in distributes the work process to be. Uh, solution can be personally to uh, car service and supplies and contracts management. And we will helping you at the implementation process to be the uh, act, uh, ask for any assistance for our site anytime. Thank you. Now I welcome our project head to explain the implementation plan. Greetings everyone. So as a project head, I will be explaining about the implementation of SAP R by 3 project plan here. So the main objectives of our uh, implementation of SAP R by 3 project is the integration of business functions and processes. So we will be integrating our different departments into the SAP, SAP R by 3 system. Uh, for that we will be uh, working in, uh, associated with finance department, quality department, HR department and operations department and various other departments in our organization. The second most objective is reduce lead times. We are, uh, the, uh, one of the major issues we are facing uh, right now is that uh, we, we are having uh, more delivery time for our customized product, uh, products. Uh, so our fleet customers and distributors are waiting, uh, are having a waiting period of more than 2-3 months. Uh, so we believe that by implementing SAP R by 3 system in our organization, uh, we could leverage uh, use of the system to solve this problem. Uh, so we believe SAP R by 3 will be a feasible solution for uh, this problem. Uh, the next problem is the next objective is uh, faster warranty payments. So uh, warranty payments are delayed uh, now. As we all know, the, uh, we have uh, many customer requests and customer inquiries and uh, grievances uh, about the warranty payments. So we uh, we believe that we could uh, solve that problem by implementing SAP RB3 in our organization. And the next one is increase internal productivity. As we all know, if we uh, will be if we are having the uh, Correct time supply. Uh, that's it. if we are having the uh, uh, parts of our uh, buses and cars at the right time, uh, we can increase our productivity uh, by reducing the lead time. Uh, so uh, I believe that we can increase our internal productivity by implementing SAP R by three in our organization. And our next problem is increase responsiveness to customers' capability to provide order status information to customers. This is a problem I was explaining in detail earlier uh, that. Our customers having a uh, more waiting period, and this is a major issue that we can't uh, we can't take it further uh, because for us customer is uh, first preference. So we don't want our customers to wait anymore. We think that we could solve this problem uh, by this project. Uh, and last final uh, objective is improve customer satisfaction. As we all know, all these uh, objectives, all the five objectives that I explained earlier. Uh, will be giving a uh, improved customer satisfaction uh, so that our brand value will be uh, as we all know uh, we all know the, about the cases of uh, having fixed deadlines and failure of SAP implementation so we want to keep it flexible but still we want to schedule uh, so that we can implement different stages of the SAP R by 3 so the first uh, part will be gap analysis uh, we want to do it in January and February of uh, next year, that is uh, 2000, uh, 2000 uh, January and February, we will be having the gap analysis. Uh, in, gap, in this stage, we will be doing a comparison between the actual performance and the desired performance uh, of our SAP R by 3 implementation. That is, uh, we, we have a uh, very good report of the actual performance uh, we are having right now. Uh, so we want to uh, we want to analyze uh, the gap between the desired performance and what we are having right now. That is, the desired performance is that uh, as I have explained in the objectives, uh, we have we want to reduce the lead time uh, and increase the delivery time. Uh, so uh, we want to calculate the gap between that. Uh, so that that will be done in the first two months of the SAP R by three implementation. That is January and February. Uh, the next uh, is the most important phase. Uh, of SAP R by 3 implementation that is re-engineering. Uh, we, we will be doing a business process re-engineering in our uh, company. Uh, this is the most important part as I have explained because uh, SAP uh, is 
not just mere and software. Uh, actually, we want to change the whole system to fit uh, to uh, to the software itself. Uh, so we will be changing the whole system of our company uh, as it fits our new software. So we want to re-engineer the whole process we are having in our company uh, for the SAP R B three implementation. Next, so. Uh, let me explain the uh, uh, time scheduled for uh, re-engineering our uh, system. Let, let me explain the time schedule that we have decided to uh, re-engineer our system. That is, we will be doing it from March to uh, August. Uh, so we will be dividing it into uh, three sections. Uh, re-engineering process will be uh, in six months, uh, two months each. Uh, so we want to uh, finish the re-engineering process in the first year itself. It is a long process, but we want to uh, we, we want to finish it as soon as possible. Uh, but we will, as I said, we will be keeping it uh, keeping it flexible uh, so that we can uh, leverage maximum uh, usage out of it. Uh, the next process is configuration. Con uh, we have a primary configuration and a system design already. Uh, the system design is uh, according to the configuration uh, we already have uh, as our vendor and our uh, IT section has uh, said that uh, they have planned a configuration by analyzing the we have tried to involve the company's value chain and describes the way our company delivers value so we want to con uh, we want to include our company's value chain in, in our new configuration by uh, using our gap analysis I believe uh, we could do this in the right time. So, uh, the schedule for configuration is from September to December. So, that will be the uh, last uh, last phase uh, in the coming year. That is, we will be configuring our new system uh, by uh, next year, December. So, the next phase is implementing a team training. Uh, this is also very important because uh, none of our employees are aware about the new system, SAP RB3 design. Uh, quite new system, uh, so we, we want to make them familiar. Uh, so first of all, uh, we want to make an internal team to train our employees. So for that, we will be associating with the SAP uh, representatives uh, and uh, we will be making an internal team to train our uh, employees. So that is the process, uh, we will be finishing it in two months, uh, so in one January and February. And the next phase is testing. So. As we know, uh, our IT department is very strong uh, in implementing this kind of software. We have done it earlier, uh, but this time, as we are uh, changing the whole system, uh, it will be rather challenging to the IT department. Uh, but we will we want to uh, do a real time testing for our uh, real time testing for our. So we wanted to uh, do real time uh, testing for our new system. Uh, before implementing, uh, so we will be uh, testing it offline. Uh, the IT department and the QA department will be associating uh, for testing our new uh, SAP RB3 system. We, we will be having March to August as per the schedule. We will be having uh, 2001 March to August uh, for the testing process. And the last and final process is end user training. So our we will, we will be having an internal team uh, to train our uh, employees. Uh, because we have already completed it in uh, January and February 2001. Uh, so the last and final phase will be end user training. Uh, in this phase, the, our internal team uh, and will be associating with the uh, SAP representatives and collaboratively they will train our, all our employees that the end users of the SAP system uh, so that they can, uh, second, they can use maximum out of the new system uh, and solve the current problems uh, and make our system improve. So this is a project plan for now. We will be conducting more meetings uh, while we are implementing uh, the uh, SAP RB3 in our organization uh, because uh, it is, this process is in need continuous review and upgradation. So we will meet soon. Uh, I want all your support for implementing this. Uh, thank you. Now I welcome my colleague to explain the post implementation plan. Thank you. We have planned the new system to be go live on two years. After the implementation of SAP RB3 in our organization, we have plans to improve the system in the future. For that, we have decided the 
<laughs> we have decided to review the system in every six months and make necessary upgrades. We will be setting a post implementation training team to train the end user. I will associate with project head and make further plans if needed. Thank you. So, this is a very happy occasion for us. We are on the final stage of implementing SAP RB3 in our company. Uh, so, we are going live today. Uh, our system, uh, I believe our system is a very... Start. Start. I appreciate all your efforts uh, for implementing SAP RB3 in our company. Uh, it was a collaborative effort uh, without the support of each and every department of uh, our, our company. We couldn't have done it. So I invite our CEO to activate this. It's a pleasure moment for me, please, that we are moving into a new ERP system. I especially congratulate all of you for your great efforts that you have done uh, for making this happen. Uh, without much delays, we are going there.